Hey there, are you looking to make a splash on LinkedIn but don't have the time to craft perfect articles? Well, I've got something very exciting for you. Today, I'll show you an AI-powered LinkedIn article generator that doesn't just write, it also scrapes for relevant topics and builds insightful tailored content. If you're starting a business, getting your name out there and showing your expertise is crucial. LinkedIn articles can position you as an authority, boost visibility, and even drive traffic to your services. But why spend hours writing when AI can do it better and faster? Let's dive in and see how it works. On screen, you can see the workflow that I've built in N8N. As always, before I get into how you can replicate this for yourself, I'll show you how the workflow works and I'll show you the outcome. In the bottom right of the page, you can see we've got the message workflow executed successfully. So let's check our air table and see if the outcome is stored properly. Here in the workflow, you can see that the outcome of the workflow has been stored successfully. Now let me show you step-by-step step how you can replicate this powerful LinkedIn article generator. We kick things off with an HTTP request to fetch a Google search page. Using Boolean search, we can narrow it down uh, to LinkedIn articles only and filter by the past week to get the freshest, most relevant articles. So if you've copied the URL, you go back to N8N, click on the HTTP node, and this is the field under URL, <laughs> it speaks for itself, is where you copy you've recently gotten Google search URL. You press test step and you can see in the output that you get an insanely long HTML code. We take that HTML and pass it on to the next node to filter for only the LinkedIn URLs. We use this code to filter out all the unnecessary HTML. And the only thing we're left with are the relevant uh, LinkedIn URLs, which is the gold we're after. Since the code node outputs all the URLs as one item, we have to use a split node, which speaks for itself. It just splits that one item into 10 separate URLs. Then we ensure there are no duplicates using a very clever node setup you can see over here. This setup can remember up to 10,000 links from previous runs. Finally, we combine all unique URLs back into one item. Next, we bring ChatGPT into the mix. Using a carefully crafted prompt, it selects the most relevant articles for our audience. So here inside of the ChatGPT node, I'll show you the prompt. I'll quickly read through it, but of course you can alter this to your own specific needs. So I've used markdown formatting to write my prompt, which is best practice. You're my LinkedIn blog post editor. You're the expert decision maker when it comes to determining which topics are best suited to write about for the audience of my LinkedIn account. My name is Clarence and you're the editor for my personal LinkedIn account. A few things about me. I have a YouTube channel where I post videos that teach people about workflows, automations, and how AI can improve their processes. Moreover, I run an AI automation agency where I build those automated workflows using AI for business which want to grow, become more efficient, and rise to be a dominant force in their niche. It can be concluded that the topics best suited for my audience are primarily about advancements in the AI and automation space. Then onto the task we're asking from it. Out of the 10 LinkedIn URLs, it's up to you to decide which topic is the best to write an article about. You base your decision solely on the URLs. Then we have to give it some input, which are the URLs, which I just grabbed from the previous note, LinkedIn URLs, and I paste over here. And it gives me a variable, the JSON, and on the right side, you can see all the URLs are there. Then it's up to the notes, which is usually only used to like kind of fine tune your prompt. In my case, it sometimes picked two articles or even three. It wasn't too consistent. That's why I wrote down pick only one topic. So you've just seen that for the desired output, we wanted it to output a URL and the reasoning why it chose this topic. You can read that over here. So it gave us the URL and it gave us a reasoning why it thinks it's the most appropriate article to choose for our audience. So the URL alongside the reasoning gets stored into the Airtable to make it easy for us to review. But then of course, we still need the content of the article we're iterating on, which is done by just getting the HTML from the relevant page, which we do by using an HTTP node and using the URL ChatGPT has selected. So on the left side from the ChatGPT node, which is not the last one, but the one before, we use the URL and drag it over here. I'll show you that it gives you exactly the same thing. So as you can see, once again, it gives you a JSON expression that is variable and it changes based on the URL picked by the ChatGPT node. On the right side, you get the output. Once again, a lot of HTML, which needs to be filtered. We filter it in the next code node. 
This code is a bit different because this time we're not looking for URLs. We're just trying to filter out all the unnecessary HTML. So all that's left is plain text. You can copy this code to save yourself some time. On the right side, you see the output and you can see that there is still some code left, but the essence is that most has been filtered and that we have gotten the contents from the article back in plain text, which is much more easy for the next GPT node to process. From here, the workflow generates a completely fresh article based on the trending content we just collected. So here in the chat GPT node, I've once again written a prompt. It's a very lengthy one, so I won't go over it and save you some time, but you can just pause this video and copy it for yourself. The outcome of this prompt is seen on the right side where it's created me a title and the content of an article. We even have ChatGPT write you a launch announcement to make your post impossible to ignore. Everything gets stored back in Airtable, so you've got your article and announcement ready to go in one place. From there, it's just copy paste and watch the engagement roll in. And there you have it, a complete LinkedIn article generator workflow that saves time, boosts visibility and shows your expertise. If you're stuck setting up your own workflow or have questions, I'm offering free consultations for a limited time. Check the link in the description and get your automation up and running. If you found this video helpful, please leave the like and subscribe for more automation tips. And don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss a new upload. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.